New at 5 o'clock, police are looking for this man. As happens so often, he cut off his ankle monitor during his trial and simply disappeared. Police consider him to be extremely dangerous, and they want him off the streets quickly. Channel 2's Taisha Walker joining us live with what the man was on trial for and why police are so concerned about him. Taisha. Bill, first one, Alfred is a wanted fugitive. According to prosecutors, a 25-year-old cut off his ankle monitor yesterday to avoid court and prison. Now, Crime Stoppers of Houston is offering a reward for his arrest. 25-year-old First Juan Alfred is a wanted man, a dangerous one too. The documented gang member has a warrant out for his arrest and has a long criminal history, including arson, organized criminal activity, and evading arrest. His jury trial for theft and aggravated robbery just wrapped up today without him. During the course, he tackled an old man, pushed him to the ground, and then struck him with his vehicle as he fled from the scene. <laughs> In another case, he has also still fled from police while leaving a co-defendant. He went the wrong way up a one-way road, then smashing his own vehicle after weaving in and out of traffic into a telephone pole. Alfred was sworn in for his trial Monday. The last two days, he's been a no-show. Law enforcement officials say he cut his ankle monitor and ran. We heard he did. We heard he cut his ankle monitor off. You know, uh, we take the court's word on it. So I guess the answer is yes. Alfred's own attorneys say they don't know his whereabouts. The ankle monitor last pinged at a freeway intersection around 325 afternoon um, where the, he was not present. This past February, Alfred's bond was revoked for an ankle monitor violation. Crime Stoppers of Houston says this is another frustrating case. From our perspective over here, Something's got to give. Something's got to change because we're seeing too many, too many offenders who are out on repeat bond who have a criminal history, yay long, like this particular offender does. On Jurors sentenced Alfred today to 29 years in prison with a $500 fine. We know that his sentencing is not finalize until he is caught and brought before a judge. So that is why Crime Stoppers of Houston is pitching in and offering up to $5,000 for information, information leading to his arrest. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Taisha, thank you.